Hi and welcome to a new video. If your iPhone only shows the Apple logo but doesn't start, or is stuck in a boot loop, meaning the Apple logo keeps popping up and disappearing again, then this is the right video for you. Let me show you the easiest way to fix this problem. Let's go. First, you should charge your device for about 15 minutes. Sometimes this already helps and your phone will come out of boot loop all by itself. If you've already tried this and it didn't work, you can go straight to the next step. Next, you should do a so-called soft reset. Don't worry, no data will be lost in this process. It simply closes all apps in the background and restarts the operating system. How do you do that? Basically, it's just a certain key combination, but it's not the same for every device. I'll show you how it works with all Apple models though. Starting from iPhone 8, it works the following way. Briefly press the volume up key once, then the volume down key, and then hold down the side button on the right side until the Apple logo disappears briefly and then reappears. Afterwards, you can let go of the side button again. With a little luck, that was enough. If you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, Press the power button on the right side together with the volume down button until the Apple logo disappears briefly and then reappears. Only afterwards, you can let go of both buttons. Unfortunately, I don't have an iPhone 7 to show you, but I think it's quite clear how it works. In case you have an iPhone that is older than the iPhone 7, you have to do the following. Hold down the home button together with the power button on the right side until the Apple logo disappears briefly and then reappears. Afterwards, you can let go. Also note that on some iPhones, the power button can also be located on the upper edge. Try the soft reset two or three times. If it didn't work, you should try to repair the device with a Windows or Mac. But that's not too difficult. I'll show you how it works in a moment. If you don't have a computer, borrow one from a friend or an acquaintance. For those of you who use Windows, First, download the latest version of iTunes either from the Microsoft Store or directly from the Apple website if you haven't already done so, and install the program. The link to iTunes can be found in the description below. If you have a Mac, you can skip this step, because iTunes is either pre-installed or if you have a newer OS X version, everything works via the Finder. Connect your device now to the computer. It's better to use original cables or cables which are MFI certified, so that the device can actually communicate with your computer. So if you have problems with the next step and you don't have a quality cable, take a look at the description down below. I linked mine there. Now put your device into recovery mode. In order to do that, press the same buttons as for the soft reset we tried before. This time, however, don't let go when the Apple logo appears, only if you see the following screen. Older Apple models might show an iTunes logo on the display. From now on, make sure that you leave the device connected to your computer until the entire process is completed. If a dialog appears on your computer, that's a good sign. Just click on Cancel and close it. Now, we want to try to update the device in case the iOS version on it contains any errors. You can download iOS directly from Apple, but that takes a long time and is quite confusing. That's why I recommend downloading it from another website. The website is called IPSW.me. You can find the link in the video description below. Here you have to select your model and download the appropriate operating system. I recommend the latest version. For those of you who use Windows or a Mac with the operating system before Catalina, open iTunes now. Everyone who has a Mac with the Catalina operating system and higher, open the Finder on your Mac just like I do right now. Click on your device in the Finder or on iTunes. Here you can already see on top that your iPhone or iPad is in recovery mode. Now you have two options. Either you update your device. By doing this, all data will be retained and only the operating system is being replaced. Or you click Restore. 
but then all data on the device is deleted and you can only restore it if you previously created a backup. In 90% of cases, it is enough to just update it. But before you click on update, hold down the shift key if you are using Windows. If you were using a Mac like me, hold down the option key and click on update. If that worked, you can navigate to the IPSW file you just downloaded and open it. Then click on update and your computer will overwrite the defective operating system. Your Apple device will show the process in form of a bar. At some point, you'll receive a message on your computer that everything has been updated and hopefully your Apple device will now start up again and you can enter your PIN. If that didn't work either, there are only two options left to try. One option is to restore the device. In order to do that, you have to select the operating system by clicking either the Shift key on Windows or the Option key on Mac while clicking on Restore. Be aware that with this step, your Apple device will be reset to default settings. If your data is very important, the other way is to use a fee-based program from iMyPhone or Tenorshare, with which you can access your data without creating backup first and without having to restore the device. Let's start with iMyPhone. You can find the link in the video description below. Depending on whether you use Windows or a Mac, choose the right version and click on Free Download. Unfortunately, the functions we need are not for free. That means you have to buy the software. Here you can choose between three options. With the subscriptions, however, make sure that you cancel them again immediately. Afterwards, install the program and open it. If you bought the program, you will receive a code via email in order to register the program. After you did that, you should see a screen similar to this one. Now reconnect your Apple device to the computer and use the key sequence to put it into recovery mode. If dialogs open, you can close them. Now click on Standard Mode and then on Next. The program now recognizes which device is connected. And you can either let the program download the appropriate operating system or you can select it manually. As I said before, I already downloaded it. And that's why I click on Select. I select my IPSW file, click on Open and the software will be extracted. At the end, click once again on Start all the device will be repaired. Leave your Apple device connected until you can enter your PIN. This way, the data from your computer can be restored. Finally, enter the PIN code again and you'll have a working device with all your data on it. If it doesn't work the first time, feel free to try it several times. As an alternative to iMyPhone, you can also use the software Tenorshare. You can find the link down below in the video description. This software is also available for Mac and Windows. Here, you also have to buy the software in order to use the function we need. Download the software, install it and open it afterwards. Click on Start. Choose the first option and click on Standard Repair. Once again, put the Apple device into recovery mode with the familiar key combinations. OK. Click on Download and wait for Tenorshare to download the software. Click on Start Standard Repair. Wait again until the program and the device are finished. Enter your code and finally, you have your iPhone or iPad back. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.